all right good let uh, let's get started let's get started okay okay so that means we everybody knows market never goes like straight wise or straight wise all right price is going like a zigzag there is some month like that so most of the uh, time in a stock or in other uh, to become a trader it might be bullish or it might be a bearish all right so if price is staying in the same place we need money in this case but by you earn in any direction any market condition so that is the beauty of this how exactly I trade in option and how I'm generating profit. All right. Lesson one, and in, we will discuss basic of option trading. That's the power of options in trading and investing. So basically we are using two different methods to trade in option. One is called another in investing all right first let me let me tell you how we are applying in investment in option and option trading uh, trading as an investment so suppose i have an investment like uh, let me show you this is the nestle india so suppose i have an invest there and we are expecting that price will go up in future clear so i think that price will go up in a few time <clears throat> but it is not audible one okay can you can you tell me boys 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 is okay nice all right so some people are uh, getting problems so say your internet so it's uh, showing okay So uh, option we are using when uh, we suppose we have some invest right uh, like uh, like I have a portfolio some portion uh, investment some option right so suppose I have an investment in Nestle India right in future because of so economic crisis like right now you can see coronavirus price temporarily drop down so let me tell you suppose in 2000 suppose here 2017 sorry and 17 suppose i bought in this area and the price gone up gone up gone up all right and in this area because of some uh, company crisis or any fundamental news price dropped down suppose i uh, at that time you can see price, their price was 1500 1500 here for example and the price goes up again drop down now if all this position in my investment so i'll be a loser right so so what we are doing we are using some option we are using to hedge our portfolio all right if all this option only i'll be a loser price drop down to uh, suppose 1300 all right so in that case i'm losing 200 all right if i hold uh, stocks only but we are using some option in that case and when prices down we are collecting some premium we has our portfolio that when price drop down to this level suppose i had like a, at that time okay uh, five lakh at that price was here somewhere drop down again by using some option trading strategy we hedge 
our portfolio when price came down uh, came down to this level portfolio is six five lakhs if i'm not doing that portfolio it's drop to two lakhs we are using option in our investment all right next to generate the additional from investment portfolio sometime what happened in this zone in this zone a last a last six to seven month price was running in a sideway right one was running in this eight time we are using option and we are collecting some premiums by using options we are collecting some premiums where we are growing all right i'll use option to buy you can see price was somewhere dropped down there was five lakhs at that time my portfolio dropped down and at that price uh, my portfolio is five lakhs all right same because we haze our portfolio by using option so in that case you can see we are adding some share because why because we know this is a good company and in the future it will go up so yeah using option in a in the in the investment all right okay okay boys breaking okay let me check it again boys okay let me check it boys can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the option as an investment. All right. Next. Option. Now we will discuss option trading. Option trading is a short term trader. Most of the uh, trader, most of the trader, uh, even I also doing this is called swing trading. So in my previous course, I told that I stock normal stock uh, like in a, i never trade in a stock like a who uh, most of the people are holding their stock for one never never uh, never ever uh, doing like that i use option all right that is called i'm an option trader i'm a price is dropping down we haze because uh, my entire portfolio when price is so one by one, I'll show you we haze. Now we will discuss about option trading. All right. Why option trading is important? We require less capital. Suppose here you can see in our uh, previous chart here, uh, let me show. Okay. All right. Now can Nestle India is running around 1600, uh, 16500. If you want to buy single stock, Nestle India, one share cost 1600, oh, sorry, 1600. We get like 5 rupees, 10 rupees per option. We are getting uh, premium. In option trading, there is mean in an option trading but in an investment or normal trading there is only an unlimited profit but in an option minimum loss and maximum profit all right profit in any direction if price bullish market we are earning money if prices are running in a downside we are earning money and when price side we are earning money in right. normally generally what uh when prices up or down but in a sideway they can't earn. remember 70 percent time can stay in a sideway we miss 30 percent opportunity to earn money in a stock but in option in any direction 
we can earn money. All right. So first, uh, let me show you the difference between option and stop trading. Option. Let me uh, let me tell you one example. This is called. Let's say uh, one ITC con to buy one ITC contract, we need a that share. When you going to buy you now one contract option there are 2400 shares you have to buy let me calculate both of them i 20 uh, uh, 2400 stock of itc and let's say itc price is 200 all right 200 stock price so uh to buy that stock we need uh four thousand we need okay the increase 10 rupees all right and now our capital thousand sorry five lakhs four thousand let's say what is the profit twenty thousand profit we bought 2400 stocks by giving 480000 and we gone 10 rupees high and we earn 24000 the return that is a 5% by thing 4 lakhs 80,000, we earn only 5%. All right. We earn only 5%. Another way. In an option trading, let's see option premium was 5 rupees per share. See, actual ITC price is 200, but in option, 5 rupees. All right. Let's buy 2,400. Shares. So we need only 12,000 capital. The difference. All right. Uh, to buy option direct, buy shares directly, 4 lakhs 80,000. All right. Same quantity, same quantity we are buying. Same quantity we are buying, and we need only 12,000. Have you seen it? We need only 12,000. Thousand. All right. By investing twelve thousand, both here also price gone up ten rupees. All right. Price rupees and twenty four thousand and hundred percent return. How beauty that we are trading in option. We need less money, huge return. That is why we are trading in option. Let me check it. Okay, risk is too low for you. It's very less risk because I'll show you various type of trading strategy. We never allow to trade naked in option. We will haste the op. If market goes against, we are not going to lose that much of money. <clears throat> <clears throat> just a minute let me check it the voice uh, all right voices voice okay let me check it what do you okay No, sir, clear. Okay. All right, let me tell you one thing. Tomorrow you can change your headphone. Okay, sure, I'll change my headphone. Another, let me. 
reports so i'm going to release very soon all right in my website and that cost will be actually 10000 uh, rupees actual cost all right but uh, attending my classes if you want to buy so you can directly you can contact with me and that that is the 500 analysis course all right so this is uh, third because after that that June, uh, july or second july to upload in my website so once to this course uh, this uh, discount will not valid all right uh, this opportunity uh, this uh, all right okay 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 so everything i'll show you all right okay uh, okay option this is this is not an option so option this is the option basic trading strategy uh, today i'm starting so a master of option trading strategy i'll upload my website so in a uh, first or second I'm going to release every course in my website, but cost is too high. All right, that cost is too high. If you wanna buy in a discount, buy me directly from here. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, now let's understand the option. There are very simple. Most of the people are very complicated about the option. I gonna, I gonna, I gonna, I gonna explain very and very easily what is the option you will find different different like uh funder uh, like uh, theories about that one so basic understanding no need to okay we are using here seven strategies so other another class we are called a master strategies which is we are applying so for that one uh, we need a huge amount of money all right for this strategy we we'll, we need less money all right okay now see here is the option all right there are two option one is call option and another is put option two thing only very simple or right. thing suppose in a call option, there is one is called call, uh, buy call and another is sell call. Call. Remember, let me show you this. So suppose uh, right now price is here somewhere here. All right, somewhere here, and we are price will go up. This is suppose one uh, uh, ten thousand three. All right, 10,300. Suppose we are expecting that price will go up. Well, all right. We are doing, we are buying call. All right. We are buying call. We are, we'll go up to this level. So here we are buying call. All right. Thinking uh, some. Hey, price will uh, drop from this area. So at that time, we are selling call. All right, we are thinking that price will drop to nine thousand. Selling call. Remember, this is the basic understand. Only the basic understand. All right, don't be confused. We are selling call. That's it only about the call. All right. So suppose you are thinking that price will go down to this level. so we are buying put all right this is called buy put all right this buying put we are and you are thinking that price will go up to this level is selling the put that now most of the people are confusing here buying call uh, so 
I'm thinking the, uh, that price will go up to this level. All right, to this level, 10,300. All right, so one guy thinking, he is a call buyer. Here is a two, two guy are there, two guy are there. One is buyer and another is seller. Is buyer and another is seller. All right, two guy. Okay, let me let me remove this one, this guy. And okay, this is the another. This is the. All right. Guy one also thinking that price will go up. And this guy also thinking that price to this level, 10,000. Both concept, but both are entering differently. This guy buying put. All right, he is buying put here. But this guy selling the put. Both are same. Both are same view, same direction. Both both have same views and same direction and same target, target may be different. Okay. So, and these guys selling put same. Both view are bullies. All right. Difference is that to become a seller, this is called a writer. And this is called a buyer who is buy the premium. Means he is selling the premium and he is the buyer, the premium. All right, both are same. That is the difference between call and put. And another, here you can see, both uh, two guys, same. Uh, all right, both are here. Two guys are there. One is writer and this is the buyer. In this, code, in this case, both are thinking that price will drop to this level. Now, what they will do? This guy will buy, I will buy the put, and this guy will sell the put. Both are, both are thinking that price will drop this area. All right, both have same views. Is it clear? Call up. Is it clear? Okay. Buying and selling both are. again let me explain once again so every time we will discuss don't worry so when price uh, when course will uh, course will complete so i'll show you everything all right so suppose this guy thinking that price will go up to this level around ten thousand and right now nine thousand uh, nine hundred uh, let's say around that all right so he is thinking that price will. All right. So we can enter in a two direction. One direction. We can buy the call. Remember, or we can sell the put. Same direction. Is it clear? Is it clear? Who, who are selling that is called writer. So most of the people are telling, right? Uh, writer always profitable. All right. Writer say the writer always profitable. This is called writer. We need lot of money. Right now already they decrease. When, so I'll show you enter in an option uh, with a less. All right. Very simple. Very simple. Our view is price will drop from this area. All right, 
we are expecting that price will drop from this area like that like that all right all right every indicator that price will drop to this level all right so in that case we can do we can enter in this market in a two way way number one we can buy the put means price will drop or we can sell the call both have same all right same view it is very easy call and put why 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 there is a four segment because there are two writer and two buyer that is why four segment are there call seller and put writer that is called writer who write the call that means premium seller like insurance company Does it make sense this seller and buyer are the premium buyer we are insurance we are doing insurance that is a buyer that's it only okay okay how it look like that when we are when we uh, uh, platform uh, looking for option it to look like that it's showing like reliance and this is a stock name after that it's coming in a stock but uh, in indices it's coming differently all right so this is a stock coming zoom this stock going to expire on june last thursday every last thursday <clears throat> okay let me check it boys okay all right <clears throat> okay now okay can you hear me can you hear me all right okay nice so next another here uh, this is called strike price means what price we want to buy all right there are different different stock uh, strike price are there so we can you can uh, you can choose from your strike price you want to buy it's like uh, stock price so suppose here right uh, price uh, 15 so it will be like 1600 uh, 1500 50 1500 60 like that so let me the round figure by adding 100 100 so in 1700 so it's a depend on you which strike price you wanna okay all right in which strike price you wanna buy all right started it is showing ce means option means it is call and after that it's just showing a premium actual value option value are there here you can see is a 1600 stock price and but this option price is only 44 have you seen it that is called premium so in a put option it's showing like pe only put option that's it only all right okay let's see uh, uh, risk and uh, stocks and option so let me show you here now suppose uh, this is itc let me show you this is the IPC. and uh, suppose uh, price is around 193 all right here when we buy normal stock when price goes up that is the unlimited profit have you make sense when price 
fail, there is also unlimited loss. In a that will make sense. If price goes to this zero, I'm not expecting that price will go zero, but we are telling you, you will lose everything whatever you have in a normal stocks. When price goes up, you will earn unlimited profit normal in our stocks. All right, that is to one here. One is to one. All right, one is to one. If price goes up, you will be profitable, unlimited profitable. If price goes down, you will lose everything. All right, unlimited loss. All right, that is why this curve is look like that. Look like that. And this is showing profit and loss, this arrow. Stock price up and price down. Okay, this is normal stocks. Now let's in a op in a option trading graph is look like that. Suppose this is ITC, same. Right now we are here. We bought option somewhere here. If that is an unlimited profit. Have you make sense? If there is limited loss only, there is limited loss. If price goes to zero, we will we we'll lose only certain amount of money according to your premium price but in a general stocks there is unlimited losses all right if price goes up there is unlimited profit in a option uh, in a sell option it is a opposite okay okay Okay, let me check it, boys. Okay. Okay, let me check it. Let me check it. Let me check it. You hear me now? breaking again okay 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 petal uh, yeah Richan petal asking me to active my window yeah i have that key but i don't have time to put that one actually <laughs> all right all right i have the active window key but <laughs> i don't have time to put this one because yeah no oh, definitely and so let's uh, let's uh, understand about that atm itm and otm this is the starting basic only that is the definition that is nothing or more so when we analyze various type of trading strategy in a certain different different uh, market condition we'll show you everything step by step then you will be able to understand accurately all right this is the starting point okay you you have many things to learn about that option but this is not it's not a very complex people are, people are thinking it is very complicated it's a very simple same like that some criteria i'll show you okay Okay, anything about uh, option uh, call, option put? Do you have any doubt? So you can ask. So after that, we'll start ATM, ITM, and OTM. Okay. My course, the first part to view and go it. Push. 
okay uh, why there are two different concept call and put okay why there are two different concept call because there is a writer and buyer seller and buyer so let's see forget about this market let me tell you one thing all right so this is an insurance company let me tell you one thing this is an insurance company he is selling something all right and he is a buyer all right same thing he is a buyer this is the buyer so he is a buying and he is a, uh, he is selling and he is buying all right so this is a one condition all right so suppose there is only one uh, there most of the people are thinking why call and put are different so let me tell you suppose uh, we forget about the put forget about the put there are no put option only call option so if there are one option that is a call then we can buy call is a one premier buyer and this is another who is selling this is a premium seller all right but in a opposite direction if in opposite direction who will be seller all right in a direction, expecting all right in a this uh, direction one is call buyer all right buyer. another call seller the call seller and call buyer all right it's okay all right in a book all option all right there is only call option if there are only call option in option if price goes down this is the seller all right price goes up this is the buyer in a one direction if in another condition if price goes up in a put direction who will sell the put who will sell the put so that is why we need another put seller we need another put seller all right that is why there are two segment option option and put option okay can you buy in call and sell in put at in case i'll show you exactly one by one don't worry that one when to apply that that thing first you must know the basic things of, of okay okay various type of adjustable trade or xyz many things are there we will discuss later first we must understand now let let me show you atm and itm okay right now uh, here you can see price is suppose let's say round figure 1600 all right all right let's say right now price is running at that time and here uh, is, is or current price is 1600 this 1600 call atm all right let me let me remove here this 1600 right now current price is 1600 this is called atm is it clear this is called atm right now price is 1600 right now they are running that is add money all right that is called atm suppose i want to buy a store i think i want to buy uh, what is that all right let's say whatever okay this stock let 
what is the stock name okay this is the reliance all right so let's say we are bullish all right we want to buy reliance we want to buy reliance all right so let's say another this is called uh, one uh, seven seventeen hundred this is called one sorry eighteen hundred so this is the another strike price and here below somewhere here suppose there are one five fifteen hundred all right another one four zero zero somewhere here so suppose i want to reliance option call option i want to buy my view is bullish i'm expecting that price will go up remember i'm expecting according to my analysis that price means i'm a bullish now i want to go buy so suppose i want to buy call option all right i want to buy call option now this strike price this is called strike price this is called strike price this strike price 1700 strike price that is called out of the money at pm otm i wanna uh, saw another guy he wanna buy 1800 strike buys that is called also otm have you make sense okay now next uh, this is called atm all right this is called add the money now suppose i'm uh, my view is bullish but i want to buy below the current price suppose 1500 i want to buy this 50 so you can buy this one all right you have to write to buy 1500 strike price definition i don't want to go on the definition all right so here you can see price is running in a 1600 right now current price but you can buy 1500 also call option not call option you can buy you are thinking that price will go up you you have to write to buy this that strike price this 1500 strike price call in the money all right another guy he he is uh, he he wanna buy 1400 strike price all right he wanna buy call option 1400 strike price that is also called in the money means below the current price right now current price is 1600 and you can buy below strike price call option and in the money here you can see money all right here all in the money if you want to see 1300 do you have any doubt about atm itm otm is it clear at the money all right okay no sir okay put this will be reverse right yeah friend let's say in a put this is the call this is the call all right i want to buy call direction here is the strike price this is the level of the strike price all the strike price call in the money above the strike price that is called out the money that she told me nothing very clear once or twice when uh, when we'll complete this course everything will be clear don't worry all right first time uh, it will be confused little more yeah i know next so suppose my view somewhere is 10 is 10 are there so uh suppose my view is a bit expecting that price will drop yeah right now here you can see this is called 1600 
all right this is 1600 current price and i'm expecting price will drop from this area uh, this is like a 1500 100 all right uh, this is the 1700 here is the 1700 here is the 1800 somewhere like that strike price so i'm expecting that price will drop from this area so i'm a uh, i have a bearish view all right so i'll go for sell normally we we can say like short the stock but here we can say buy the put buy put option now in a put option 100 call out of the money 14 out of the money right means is outside from this current price current price is 1600 right our direction is bearish this side is called outside all right price will drop down this side this is the outside from us all right so that is called out of the money we are bearish but we want to buy 1700 strike price we can buy that one right to buy that is the definition it's okay we have a right to buy 1800 also but this is called in the money this is called in the money in the money and actually most of the people are confusing here uh, uh strike price goes like uh, let me tell you one thing uh, this is called atm all right this is called atm most of the people are confused here suppose right now price is running one six zero one all right here and another here you can see one zero zero right now price is running somewhere here exactly here running around 1601 remember actual definition is 1601 is the atm at the money it is called this this is called atm the people are thinking hey this is a strike price this is a atm no that is not called atm at the at the money where actually price is running right right and that this six will be a strike price but you will never find here like that strike price strike price is going differently all right uh now let me zoom here somewhere this is a option chart okay option chart we will discuss all right this is breaking okay all right okay atm okay now another thing we have we must know that is called intrinsic value and extrinsic value do you have any doubt about atm otm do you have any doubt about that? ATM, OTM? Okay, that, that, okay, nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Put OTM. Okay. Outside. All right. Uh, suppose uh, we are ready to we are bearish all right put otm we are we are bearish we are looking uh, we are we are expecting that price will drop from this area we are expecting all right so at that time somewhere here somewhere here somewhere here is a strike price all strike price below the price <coughs> sorry uh, below the uh, current price below the current price in a put direction all call otm out of the money otm otm all are otm all right out of the money put side 
and call side above is otm the one we will uh, uh, okay we will clear everything all right now this is called uh, most of the time option trader are using intrinsic value and extrinsic value okay so let me let me explain about extrinsic value and Okay, uh, Ajay Gupta, where we we'll use uh, ITM and OTM. So we apply when we are ready to buy something. All right. All right, when we are ready to enter in this market. So at that time we are using OTM, ATM, when how we are calculating which will be profitable. All right. All right, that is a different, different method. Different, different strategy we are applying. All right, sometimes we are buying in the money sometimes we are selling in the money sometimes we are buying out of the money sometimes we are selling out of the money it's a different different all right it's a best on the market best on the volatility best on the range best of the direction everything will i'll show you one by one all right now let's understand uh, intrinsic value and extrinsic value okay let's say this is a nifty chart and Okay, this is the call option. How we calculate extrinsic and intrinsic value? Okay, in a call direction, intrinsic value is equal to current price minus strike price. Whatever result comes, that is called extrinsic value. Let's say, uh, forget about that. I'm not talking right now about this one we are talking about this one all right so let's say this is the call direction all right uh, right now price is somewhere here. sorry <clears throat> all right right now price is here in this area and this is called atm at the money right now that means price is running in this area okay and let's say here current price 10000 this is the nifty all right current price is 10000 all right this is the 10000 and this is the current price and this is called atm all right now next here you can see uh, in this area this is 9000 and the 900 9900 all right so when we lead, when we deduct from current price to the strike price so we are buying this strike price suppose all right so suppose uh, i on a i'm a bullish view and we are expecting price will go up but i want to buy in the money all right so when I buy in the money at that time, you can see we will uh, 10,000 minus 9,900, that is 100. This 100 called intrinsic value of this option. Is it clear? Very simple. We will deduct from current price actually running right now and what strike price we wanna buy we wanna buy 9000 strike price which is called in the money and that is what result comes that is called intrinsic you can see this is called intrinsic value remember in the money in a buy direction in a call buy only remember only in uh, in the money have intrinsic value okay now let's see suppose next another price is uh, this is 10000 actual price is running 10000 and i want to buy 10100 like price buy money uh there are nothing to deduct from this uh, 10000 to uh, 10,000 minus. All right, there is nothing, there is zero. 
that is why there is out of the money intrinsic value is always zero remember now most of the people are thinking hey there is nothing there they, they have only extrinsic value now question is that what is the extrinsic value extrinsic value that is called hope value extrinsic value means time value and volatility now we have a time suppose we have like 30 days all right we have days we have 30 days expire this option i bought 10000 option out of the money they are in trends zero but there are some extensive value what actually ex because we have 30 days what we have we have a time we have time all right we have time next what we have we have volatility market will go up right that that is called volatile all right we have two things one is volatility next we have time. two things we have that is of value all right and that is called extensive value all right this extensive value but normally it's showing zero is it clear intrinsic value and extrinsic value yeah this is a reliance chart i'm using for your understanding all right for your understanding have you make sense extrinsic value and intrinsic value it's okay um you know when we analyze this one so we'll discuss about intrinsic value call option put option out the money in the money every discuss again and again we'll 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 repeat again and again because it's the most important repeat and again and again all right so this is the basic understanding this is the definition of this all right okay remember this is only one percent about uh, knowledge about this uh, what call option theory all right we have to learn 99 percent all right okay extensive value okay extensive okay intrinsic value is clear right intrinsic value is clear right okay <coughs> uh, let me let me explain in put side all right this is the call side in the put side it is the opposite intrinsic value is uh strike price minus current price but it is opposite all right now you can see we are ex price will drop from this area and continue toward the downside by using different different trading strategy fundamental analysis and the technical analysis now we have seen that the price will drop from this area some coronavirus are infecting bad news are coming like that and we are expecting price will drop from this area let's go for put. i want to buy put now all right am i right i want to buy put now let's say right now price is running in a 10000 let's say price is running in a in this 10000 it's a strike uh, current price all right so in that case i want to buy in the money in the money i want to buy 10100 strike price i want to buy this 10100 strike price all right put option i'm thinking that price will drop and i want to buy in the money and we want to buy the in the money use the deduct from strike price which strike price we want to buy we want to buy 10100 this is the strike price all right and minus 10000 what the result comes 100 this 
call intrinsic value have some value that is called intrinsic value all right next another guy right now price is running at 10,000 somewhere here here this is the add the money and we are expecting price uh, drop from this area by using different trading strategy and I want to buy out of the money the out of the money current price is running 9,900 all right I want to buy this strike price so there is nothing to deduct from strike price to current price all right so that is why it is a zero all right this zero call in extrinsic value but most of the people are thinking there is nothing in extrinsic value yeah there are two things in this extrinsic value what are the two we have time suppose we have 30 days we have 50 15 days we have three months we have five whatever we have had time all right that is called time value another it is called volatility market never stay in the same place all right market is running this is called volatile all right price is failing down why this is a volatile we have another thing that is called volatile we have two things one is time value <coughs> sorry time value and another volatility we have so these two things called hope value there is nothing actually what we are doing we are hoping right we are hoping that price will area that that is the two thing we have one is time next volatility all right that is called extrinsic value is it clear is it clear nothing to explain or i think a very simple i'm explaining very simple whatever i what i can do what i can do all right all right that is two things only okay <clears throat> now option price determine okay it's okay they are calculating different uh, they are calculating themselves but no need to for basic understanding all right option premium option premium is equal to intrinsic value whatever we have seen plus extrinsic value we are calculating this one time and volatility whatever results comes that is the option below we are uh, we have seen there is like uh current prices suppose nifty running current price like ten thousand all right and but option premium is selling like uh, 20 rupees all right for any specific stack price all right so how we are getting this 21 so that is the formula all right uh, for the call option uh stock uh, sorry stack uh, stock price minus strike price plus uh, time value plus volatility so intrinsic value what result comes that is called option price they are determining no need to calculate yourself they are uh, cal calculating themselves all right okay so i think uh, we already complete uh, our all right so i hope you understand right what is the basic about the uh, today enough yeah so tomorrow we will uh, discuss about greek uh, that is the most important thing all right the option this is uh, this is F, uh, this is the most important thing delta gamma theta and rho so tomorrow we will discuss about that one delta so among that uh, five uh, factor are there uh, we need mostly delta theta and vega this gamma and rho that is not important so always they almost they fix we didn't point it towards that is the okay so we will focus on delta uh, theta or vega all right that is the important thing when we um, we are uh, construct 
adapting our trading strategy. So at that time, we need, that. all right, we need that three things. All right, that is the important thing. Gamma, not important. So I'll explain what is exactly. All right. So we will discuss tomorrow. And uh, okay, let again. So if you wanna buy this course, so you can buy me uh, buy from uh, directly from me. Or if you wanna this uh, course, so you can WhatsApp me or you can mail me. All right. For student only. Class, uh, sorry, in my website. So that cost will be uh, too high because I close my Udemy site. So I switch to my uh, website. All right. I'll publish my every course. Thanks for your giving your valuable time. So tomorrow we will definitely, uh, definitely tomorrow we'll see you and we'll discuss about. Uh, Option grip and option chain analysis. We'll do option chain analysis. All right. So thanks. Have a okay. Good night.